All right, we're here with uh, Marcos Bagdadis. Uh, Marcos, obviously uh, Benoit is a very talented player, but you know he has a lot of ups and downs. So, are there any um, keys against a, player, a talented player like that, uh, you know, to come out on top? Yeah, I think every every point is very important to play every point uh, like it's the last one against him because you know try to to win as many points as possible because you know he gives you so much, but he can make so many winners out of nowhere and uh, put so much pressure on you on, the, on on your serve with his returns. He returns pretty well. And he can serve very well, so yeah, it's just making balls, making play, make him, make him, make him, you know, uh, win it, you know, and don't give anything. And that's what I did today, and uh, I'm very happy. I I played pretty solid in the important points in the third set, and uh, I think that what made that's what made the difference today. And was there a specific point in the match where he went a little down, where you sensed that I definitely have this match and I'm going to win? I mean, again, against him, it's it's tough to relax. You know, it's tough to say it's because he and sometimes he just relaxes and starts hitting the balls and and everything goes in. And when when he starts to find rhythm and he starts to get pumped up and and he can turn matches very very easily with his style of game. So. I think there is no moment in the match that you feel uh, until the I mean I mean uh, until the last point that you feel like uh, it's it's over against him. Uh, definitely uh, Marcos and also it, it seemed uh, for a couple points at least you know with the bounces on the court it seemed like it might have bothered you so I was just wondering of your opinion of of the court conditions for today. I mean I don't know what to say. I mean it's uh, it's it's tough to to play in these conditions. I think the court's not straight and uh, that tells you everything. I mean the, the really the court's not straight and I don't know how we can accept to, to play in these conditions uh, as ATP and uh, I hope we'll find a solution because it's not the first year, it's every year Every year we have the same problem, the same discussion and uh, nothing's changing, so we'll see. I see, Marcos. And, and obviously you've been on the tour for so long, you've had so many classic matches date, dating back to you know decades plus ago, so what's the key to, to the longevity in the game for pros? Yeah, body, I think the body, the body and... Uh, you know, being healthy is the most important thing. I'm, I'm struggling myself uh, uh, the last few years and uh, I'm trying to find ways to stay healthy and uh, improve uh, my fitness, my body. And uh, yeah, some, uh, some people can take, I mean, some bodies can take all this work and some bodies cannot. And uh, yeah, and I think, uh, I think the most important thing is uh, the body to be healthy, uh, healthy and uh, you, like this you can play as many, as many tournaments as possible. Uh, Marcos, congratulations and thanks for speaking with us. Appreciate it.